Good morning, Fellowship High Crest fam, and this is your jump start for Monday, December the 7th, um, and our focal passage for today is Luke 2, 8 through 20. And you know what? I'm going to read the passage, um, but this is one of those passages that just never gets old. Um, in my first like official paid youth pastor position, uh, there was a, there was an older gentleman in the church, Dr. Bertho, and every year during our Christmas Eve, Christmas Adam service, he would read this, and he had this voice. He had like he had the pipes, and he he. He didn't read it. He memorized this, and he would um, deliver it. And, man, it would always send chills down your spine. So here, here's the passage here, and I, I can't do it justice to what how Dr. Bertho used to do this thing. But here's what he said. And in the same region, there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for hope for all people. For until you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord, and this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace amongst those with whom he is pleased. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these things, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, and it had, as it had been told to them. And at the end of eight days, when he was circumcised, he was called Jesus, the name given by the angels before he was conceived in the womb. You know, uh, throughout this holiday season, I hope that you just take the opportunity to impart stories in the hearts of your children, your grandchildren, others that you may know. Maybe there's some adults that have never heard this story that you can share with them. You know, there's a time between the Testaments where like 400 years where there was, there was no new revelation from God. And then we get stories like this where God steps into the scene boldly. A story that never grows old, that always encourages, that always brings hope and joy. And those are the most beautiful things of this season. The things that'll last. So continue to power up, pour in, and spill out. Have a great day.